Ukraine passed the test to use MRs, but needs more weapons, Ukrainian Defense Minister. According to Alexei Reznikov, the Ukrainian armed forces need long-range equipment that can hit targets at a distance of 150 kilometers. We needed to convince our Western partners to show them evidence. In the case of Izium, we definitely targeted the Russian Air Operations Command Center. It was really accurate. Our partners saw it and said, you passed the test, Reznikov reported. According to the defense minister, the highly mobile Hamar's multiple rocket launchers have changed the rules of war in Ukraine. However, the confrontation with Russia is going dark. The armed forces need urgent deliveries of large quantities of weapons. Especially needed is equipment that will hit targets at great distances. The Russians use MLRS, which can hit at 120 kilometers. So we need something further away, 150 kilometers. And we will get there, Reznikov added. Recall that the first batch of MRs from the United States included only four systems. According to the Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council, Alexei Danilov, there are now nine mentioned or similar MRs in Ukraine. He also stressed that the Army needs more of these systems. On July 8th, U.S. President Joe Biden announced a new $400 million military aid package for Ukraine. It will include four HIMARS units and ammunition. The number of highly mobile HIMARS artillery rocket systems that the U.S. is now providing to Ukraine has now reached 12. According to the administration, it will give Kyiv a technological advantage in the war against Russia, according to a senior Defense Department official. The 1,000 rounds of new 155mm ammunition are part of the new $400 million aid package. The package also includes four additional rocket launchers and ammunition, bringing the number of highly mobile artillery systems the U.S. is providing to Ukraine to 12. Of the total number promised, eight MRs have already been delivered to Ukraine. To date, more than 100 Ukrainian fighters have been trained on the system, a senior military official added. According to the official, the latest tranche of aid also includes three tactical vehicles, detonation ammunition, anti-battery systems, as well as spare parts and other equipment. The new ammunition has the same capabilities as the U.S. Army's M982 Excalibur projectiles, which provide accurate GPS guidance to the M777 howitzers that Washington has sent and that Kiev is now using against Russian forces. But the journalist's source did not confirm that Excalibur was part of the package. Nevertheless, the 1,000 shells are only a fraction of the 36,000 standard howitzer shells the U.S. sent to Ukraine in the latest aid package. Ukraine typically produces 5,000 to 6,000 standard howitzer ammunition per day, while Russia produces more than twice that amount. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. You can also watch other videos offered on my channel.